Ladies and gentlemen, a 10-round bout in the welterweight division from Louisville, Kentucky, at 145 and three quarters, Rudolph Stitch. After all these years, many people in Louisville don't remember who Rudell Stitch was. It's been 50 years plus since his death, and they have this program in Louisville of hometown heroes up on various buildings throughout Louisville, uh, and to have his contribution to as one of the greats from Louisville shown where we can all look up to it when we drive down the street, what have you, and uh, remember the, what a great young man he was uh, and the contribution that, that he made to this city. He was a great man, you know. He did things for people without them asking him to do things for them, you know. Uh, he did things for the kids, you know, he went to visit the kids in the hospitals and uh, so he was a giving person, you know. He was the type of man that you wanted to follow, the type of man that you wanted to be around. Uh, you know, not only was he a churchman, uh, a sportsman, you know, but he was a, a husband and a father. He loved my mother and he had, you know, six kids that he was taking care of, you know, and he didn't make the type of money that you see boxers make, you know, nowadays. So this was something that he loved to do, you know, and he also worked at the, the packing company, Armor Packing Company. Uh, he had a few endorsements uh, at the time, but they weren't worth that much, you know but it was a way of getting his name out there and trying to take care of his family. He was a world-class boxer, so he fought in Australia and Hawaii his last two fights. He won both of those fights. He? Right. And he won both of those fights, so that upped his ranking. Uh, that's part of the reason why I guess he was getting ready to sign for the title fight. And he had a world following. He had a fan club in Germany and uh, People used to write all the time, and he, he was friends with uh, several boxers from Germany. So he was uh, uh, known worldwide. Nineteen fifty-eight, uh, he was fishing, and some of the guys. And uh, I don't know if this guy was fishing or not. Uh, he. Um, <clears throat> he worked for the Army Corps of Engineers, Engineers. for um, Indiana. Yeah. Some type of way he fell in and he saved him. And then uh, in 1960, him and his best friends was fishing. And uh, he fell in and he got him and brought him up. And they started swimming towards the bank, but apparently his friend went back down under and he went back to get him, and the undercurrents, you know, took both of them under. You know, and they were uh, wearing those uh, waiter uh, boots, or what do you want to call them. Uh, so with the undertow and everything, it just took them under. Right after his death, he was awarded the bronze medal. Uh, one was a silver medal for his first attempt, and the second one was a bronze medal. And in the 110 year history now of the Carnegie Hero Medal, there's only been four people who have won the medal twice. So and there have been thousands of recipients of the medal. And so that's uh, another honor. Welcome friends, family, the press, um, and everyone to this dedication of our 22nd Hometown Hero mural. 
Mr. Rudell Stitch, this wonderful, amazing hero. Uh, my name is Mike Sheehy. I'm the president of the Greater Louisville Pride Foundation Hometown Heroes Project. So well, we're here today to, um, you know, honor this man. We've been working on this project for about a year and a half, and, and here we are. And it's a great site, and I think it's going to be an, uh, a great addition to our, you know, to the rest of our murals. This is a song for Rudell. Rudell never won a title, but he still earned his crown. When he tried to save his friend, he'll hire ever to that. He may be gone, but not forgotten, this hero of all I'm a better man for knowing him. He lives on in my memory. Greater love than this, nobody save a friend, a two-time Carnegie hero, a fighter to the very end. He was great before Muhammad Ali, and in my recollection, when Ali, then Cassius Clay, used to come to the gym, he truly looked up to Rudell Stitch and loved to work out with him. And every day when he left that gym, after taking a beating to the body from Rudell, would say, I'll be back next week, Rudell, and I'm gonna get you. He never did.